Hi everyone, welcome once again. The next task after um, creating a new branch, branch 2, is to do a commit on branch 2 and then merge those changes with the third commit that we have done on the master. So for that, if we want to do commit on branch 2, we first need to understand how to switch on to the branches. So we have three branches, branch 1, branch 2 and master and right now we are pointing to the master. To switch to the branches, we have a keyword checkout. So we use git checkout and then the name of the branch. It will take us to that branch. So if I do git checkout branch 1, it says that switch to the branch 1. If I do git branch now, I should see a star in front of branch 1 instead of master. So that means the current branch is branch 1. If I do git checkout branch 2, and if now I check using git branch, I should be pointed to git uh, branch 2. So that is how I can start making changes on the branch uh, which I want to. So I want to make changes on branch 2 and I am currently on branch 2. I am not on the master. So let us make the changes on branch 2 now. I open my project repository again and I add a file here, no, not a folder. So I add a simple file here. Let us give a name uh, to this file. Uh, let us call this as a temporary code, whatever you want to keep. So I'm again keeping the name as Python file and uh, inside this you can uh, put the code which you want to do as a separate branch which you do not want to uh, put on the master. This is a separate development that you are uh, doing on another branch which you do not want to share until it is developed. So that is why uh, we use branches. We do not want to touch the mainstream or the central branch. We want to uh, develop something sidewise. So for that we create branches and once uh, uh, we are ready to push those uh, uh, I mean make them sync in the master we just merge them and that would be the next thing that we'll be learning. So we have uh, switched on to the branch 2 and we have added a file. It is time to commit this using git add and then git commit with a comment that we have added a file on branch 2. Right, so now if we do git status, so we have reached till here, right, and on the master we are here. Now the next thing is very interesting to watch, we do git checkout master, you, uh, we have done some changes on the branch too that you have, that you remember that we have created a new file named as tempcode.py and we are now doing, going to do git checkout master. Since master did not have this file, when we switched on to the master, these changes do not appear in the directory as well. And when we switch to branch 2 again, that file appears again. So that is how git manages it. It creates a different view for the user. The file is there for one branch and the file is not there for the other branch. Same if we do uh, git checkout branch 1, there is nothing on branch 1. So this is how we can work on different versions or different branches at one time. And if I do git branch to check the current branch, I'm on to branch 2. That is why I'm seeing this code. So now let us add some changes on the master as well. Um, because we, we want that uh, uh, we make some changes on the master as well as branch 2. So that uh, we create a scenario where uh, development is being done in two different branches. And that there is one point where we want to merge all the changes. So for the next video, we, we are creating a ground where we will be merging these two changes. So uh, I have added some changes in the readme file and now I will commit these on the master and not on the branch 2. So that's why we have one commit on branch 2 after creating that branch and after taking out branch 2 from master, I am also committing another thing on master also. So both the uh, versions have different piece of code now after this comment so guys in the next video we will see how to merge the branches using git merge